Brian. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Let your life be transformed. When you stop making assumptions, your word becomes impeccable and your life completely is transformed. Magic ha just happens in your life. What comes to you easily because the spirit moves freely through you. Oh, yeah. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 116, NASDAQ up 39, SP's off 4. Gold, gold contract up $3, trading at 1925 an ounce. We have silver up 13 cents, $23.79 an ounce. Light sweet crude down 37 cents, $80.35 35 a barrel. Notes and bonds. 10 year note down one tick, trading 109.04. 30 year up 14 ticks at 118.10 and King Dollar. King Dollar's up. 269 ticks, trading at 103.593, 563 rather. Euro at 108, yen at 145, and the British pound at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, it's trying to get off the lows, folks. And let me just show you this as we do this exercise every day. It's pretty cool, man. The bottom line is that you'll see what's holding this up. And we've tested it a few times, and it's just deviant enough, man. So what you have here is this. Is like what's held it up is when we go back to yesterday. And, you know, yesterday when we went down, it was the fall, the, the prior day where you had the sign of strength that held it up. And what you had out here today is that we're dealing with 64,000 contracts, okay? And so the market opened, went higher quick, gave it up in spades. Now watch what happened here. You're going into 64,000. That low of the 64,000 in the S&P futures was 43.92. Okay. First time down, what do you have? We had 39,000 contracts. And remember, going against the 64, the 64 is what you want to remember. Second time down, 27. Now, it certainly couldn't go up either, but the bottom line is that when you get two tests like that, you know, that's telling me that the most deviant thing the market can do is make the bounce, you know, because the bottom line, everyone's nervous. Don't blame being nervous. Uh, bottom line is that, and, you know, I think we get a, a bounce going here. I suspect you got, they're going to run it into the close. That is on the short-term basis. The bigger basis goes like this, that we're probably setting up a very large B to C of an ABC structure down. And if that's what we're doing, it's going to be a big one because the A point on this in the SPY is that tie, which is the 439, the low, which is the 433. Well, it's not that big, I guess. No, no, yeah, it is. 459. Oh, my God. I've got a glass appointment pretty soon, folks. <laughs> Better. <laughs> anyway, you get the gist of it. 459. 433. That's a big one. Yeah, 26 points, right? So, what have you, what you've done here, you know, bottom line, we're down with volume. We were down with volume. Yesterday, we go higher with 68 million. We're at 43 million now. Now, we'll do about 65 million probably, okay? But I suspect it looks to me like this thing can get up to this 446. Now, if you take the 446, watch what happens here. Take the, and the reason I'm going to 446, that's where the breakdown occurred. We, that was the first leg down. That's where you have volume. We'll go sideways for five more days. Then we flip down again, okay? And then if we take that and we go like this, and we say, okay, that is a 50% retracement right on the button of the first leg down. So that's where I'm going with this whole deal. And I suspect what's going to happen is as we go higher, you're going to have the volume drop off. If that's what we get, more than likely you get a very large ABC structure down, and that'll, you know, basically set up the next leg lower. But Q's are set up the, also the same way. What we had yesterday, bottom line is that you went higher. You had the contraction. We did 50 million yesterday. 
after, you know, hitting lows of 61. We'll probably do 50 million today. We're at 34 right now. It's going to be a close call. Same type of setup. You're going high, you have a contraction of volume. Gold. Now, the gold contract, it looks to me like we've bottomed. I was looking for the 1904. We hit 19, 13, 20, I believe. And the reason I'm saying that is I'm going to bring you over to the dollar for a second because we get a, we get a little... Now, gold certainly has not had a sign of strength yet. You need a sign of strength. We haven't had the sign of strength yet. We get a slow turn that's happening, but what we have had is this. Let me pull this up here so you can see this. On the contract itself, you can see last week we, we basically... Uh, last week, no, today's Tuesday. So Thursday, you know, we, we get down with 152 thousand contracts. Yesterday, they tested that with 129, 130, okay? If we go into the GLD, and that way we can see what it, it was actually going against, meaning the March signs of strength, it's dramatic. So if you take this up and you take a look at it, what you're going to see is that you're coming into 25 million shares, okay? And we come into that with 7 million. We tested that yesterday with 4 million, okay? Now, we've seen this happen before in the gold market, too. So, you've tested the lows with tremendously lighter volume. What's our problem? Our problem, we don't have any buyers here. Because I'd like to see a lot more than 4 million. Now, yeah, you can make the case that, okay, it went down to 175.31 today. Like, okay, are you testing again with light of volume? Bottom line, we'll find out in the next couple of days. But um, my take is that this thing wants higher price. And this is why. So if we go over to the dollar, the dollar looks to me that what we're actually going to have happen here is that, you know, the uh, man Teddy Kagstad, he had done that workshop a week and a half ago, which you can still get on our website, folks, on candlestick charting, right? Well, the most deviant thing that could happen here is that if you take a look at this, I believe, yeah, there we go, is that the dollar is almost doing a last engulfing. It's a, it's a close call, okay? But if, in fact, this would be a last engulf, meaning that today you started lower, you got higher, right? And you're still dealing with this, the swing point, you know, from the uh, 103, 543 area, and if we close lower tomorrow, that's telling me that the dollar wants to go lower, and then that'll open the whole deal up for a bounce in the broad market Counties, as well as the gold market.